I... I was too late to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Kermoran. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. I can't cry. Don't know how. Azimir's funeral. We should prepare. Yourself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Vafail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel.
what's on your mind. Kaer Morin. Can't imagine this place without Vesemir. I'll head down the valley soon, then find somewhere else to winter next year. I get you. Try my luck in Lormark. There's always work where there's war. After that, we'll see. Till next time. See you, Wolf. Thanks for everything you did for me and Siri. May I be honest? Had I known what would happen here, I'd never have come anywhere near Kaer Morhen. I'm glad I could help, but I shall leave as soon as Lambert feels better. Take care of yourselves, and thanks again for everything. Can we talk? What about? See you later. Yeah, take care. Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly to no effect. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Siri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Cyril from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses. Archmistresses of magic. You mean the Lodge? I don't want the Lodge anywhere near Ciri. Just don't trust those women. What would you have us do instead? Fight alone and die a beautiful but pointless death? No, Geralt. By some miracle, we survived that fight, eking out a measly victory at enormous cost. No more guerrilla warfare. Time to face the enemy in open battle. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You can't expose yourself. Am I a banner to be held aloft and kept from the enemy? That's how you treat me. None of you has the courage to face this threat. Yet we must kill them. Or sooner or later we will all die. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Tira. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere.
We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Hmm. Don't know about vanilla pudding. Could work. But nothing picks me up like Lambert's famous homebrew. Suppose it can't kill me. Might as well try. Strong. Maybe you want to try a different method. We've tried at least 20. Wouldn't let it worry you. Not like you need to excel at everything. You're great with a sword, an excellent archer. Leave the magic to mages. Yeah. Pull me another. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Dunno. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes, and I must do this. Come, we shall talk on the way. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Cause this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is your father. Vizima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the Defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die.
your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Ines Ard Skellig and Ines Ann Skellig, and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. I always keep my word. As do I. Your reward. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here, and I did just that. Siri will hear you out, then we leave. Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. I'm sure. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coin. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred milf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Van Gleen? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind. A troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Of course. While we're on the subject, how is our future ruler? Must admit I'm curious how she'll react when she hears the throne will be hers. I venture to say she'll be delighted. You never know. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Indeed. Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate while the... Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes. Very specific. And thoroughly absurd. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morin, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. <laughs> 